Like, is our data safe or not? Is our content safe or not? By uploading you grant CapCut and the parent ByteDance, this crazy licensing that once again, use, modify, monetize, distribute. People have been asking, is edits a great replacement for CapCut? We have, as a community, have to be like, yo, are we going to continue to use CapCut or no? Right? Are you staying? That's, the, that's what we're talking about. I believe I'm probably going to go back to InShot. Edits is supposedly Meta's video editing tool. Now, is it good? It's decent. I'm, I'm be honest with you. It's decent. Is it as good as CapCut? No. Okay? No. But they got some new features that we got to talk about. Right? Got some new features we got to talk about. And it's free. It's free. So let me see if I can pull up my lovely phone. Let's see if I can pull up my phone. Do, 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 do. All right. Edits. Boom. All right. So, and as y'all can see, I've been, I've been using edits. I've been using edits. So here's the thing. Now, we've, we've talked about edits to where you can add some ideas that you want. It has, um, I haven't muted. It gives you trending audio as well as some of the trends for inspiration, as well as you can see who you're following on this, on this app, right? That was, I don't want, oh, oh, look at your puppy, look at your puppy. Here's your projects. Here's where you can record and they also have a teleprompter now so that's something that's new and you can add your script right there right there okay so you can add your script and then you can check your analytics which i do believe analytics is one of the best things they have on edits now let me do another poll let me do another poll so so y'all leaving 84 percent Said they out of here. We not using CapCut, right? So my my next poll is going to be: Have you used edits? Have you used edits? Boom. That's the next poll. Now let's let's um edit one that I have already. Okay, replace. That's cool. Go away. So they have this new feature called Restyle. And Restyle is their new AI feature. So on the bottom, you're going to see where you can change your style, characters, location, lighting, and color. So if I wanted to act like I was on fire, I could hit Restyle. It's going to take this particular clip right here. We're going to see how long it takes. I don't know how long this is going to take. Also, you can do 2K and 4K, which is pretty cool, right? Is that I haven't used CapCut since the TikTok shutdown. I'm not mad at that. I'm really not mad at that. I, I have used CapCut less. I will say that. I have, I have used CapCut less. But that, those, those templates are just so undefeated. So some of y'all said, oh, most of y'all said no. Oh, wow. It's edits free. Yes, edits is all the way free, okay? This, as long as you have a meta account, this is all the way free. Okay, so, so check this out. Now this has me in a, burning, in a burning situation. So hold on, let me unmute this. In Chad GPT, start using this AI tool that actually understands your brand and your own. It's got my sneakers on fire, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. So. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. So I can add another one. So what else do I want to add? Let's right. And, and, and to, to be fair, these are all beginning AI stuff. So some of it is going to be corny. Okay. So I'm going to keep it a buck. Some of these styles are extremely corny. What about this script for those who like templates and AI tools? So I need to dive more deep into it. So what we can do is next week, 
I could give you that answer because I got it for the simple fact cap cuts acting crazy. So I got you. But back to this, the restyle. Yes, some of it is going to be corny. Like, I don't see myself ever putting out a video that is a teddy or a chicken. OK, or a Yeti. I don't I don't really see that. Um, but hey, it's it's something right. So let's see. It says private jet. No, I don't want private jet. Let's do no, let's do the private jet restyle to the private jet to see how this goes. I think that's cool that you could change to different locations, especially if you use the same background all the time. Like I, I I'm always upstairs. Right. I do have a green screen. Not gonna lie. I do have a screen screen. But for the very basic, and I'll say this, for the very basic edits that you may need to do for trimming, for quick cuts, for text, filters, uh, GIFs, I don't see why not that edits wouldn't be a good options for you. But if you need something way more advanced, I will say InShot and we'll go into InShot as well. So here we go. You got me in a private jet. Let's see how this looks like. Start using this AI tool that actually understands your brand and your audience. So let me show you three ways. That's, that's not bad. One to 10, what do you think? That's not bad. Paul said, do a lion. I don't, do they have a lion? I don't think they have a lion. Do they have a lion? Let me see. They have a kitty. No, nah, they have a wolf. They don't have a lion. Yeah, they don't have they don't have a lion. Uh, for gigs, for ish and gigs, let's let's put me in a fur coat. Let's put me in a fur coat. OK, let's put me in a fur coat. Now, I will say if you are using med, meta services, meaning if you are using Instagram, Facebook, I do suggest for you to use edits because they do boost it a little bit. You do get a notification when somebody posts from edits. So that's something to keep in mind when we're talking about increasing your reach, right? <laughs> Shout out to Ryan. I feel you. I feel, <laughs> I feel you. I do. I do. Oh, they, they really have me in a fur coat. They really have me in a fur coat. Hold on. That's funny. Using Chad GPT. Start using this AI tool that actually understands your brand and your audience. So let me show you three ways I use. I may use that because people will do the. Wait, do you have a do you have a fur coat on and it's summer? I may use that. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Now, what other stuff that it has that I think is worth anything? Let's see. Not much. <laughs> Not much. Uh, the green screen effect is really good. The effects period, as far as like zoom in, steady in, shaky. So the transitions are still there, right? And you have a good amount and they're continuing to add different effects to, to your content, to, to the app, right? You three so, ways I use Poppy A. So if I wanted to do transitions, they have different transitions to go into the different scenes that you may have. And that's only going to increase. Now, rem now, remember, edits just came out not too long ago. It hasn't been out since like how long CapCut is. So it's going to take a minute to catch up. But the increase of updates that they have you want to pay attention to it right that's the only reason why i wanted to bring this up because one meta products are wanting you to use this and you want to use whatever meta wants you to use if that is one of your main platforms right the cool thing is when you export it it saves it and then it gives you the option to upload it straight to Instagram or Facebook. Whereas in CapCut, right, if you use one of those templates you, to remove the watermark, you have to upload it to TikTok, which is trash. Oops. That's trash. So um, all platforms had the same thing mentioned. And 
Uh, Adam, we just went over that and not not exactly. CapCut has a broader licensing that is a little bit more alarming than the other ones because it also includes the deleted uh, content that you have where the other ones, when you delete it, they can't touch that. So yes and no, Adam. But if you rewind, you'll see that, right? You'll see that. So, oh, it created a clone thing. Okay, that's, that's different. That's different. Cool. So that's edits. Now, the other one that is pretty dope, we got InShot. It's the OG, right? I need to learn how to use CapCut. Rewind, you may not want to, right? You may, you may not want to. CapCut's wording is scary AF. That's, and reminder, okay, let me, because I know we got some new people. Reminder, real quick, when we're talking about CapCut, yes, you, you keep ownership, right? But by uploading, you grant CapCut this crazy license that will use, modify, monetize, distribute, and create different works from your content. It includes your name, face, uh, voice and likeness and applies from public and private drafts, even if deleted. Okay. So where, if we're talking about like meta, meta does have a license to use it for service operation and promotion, not just for whatever. Caput has it for whatever. Meta and other, other products, other um, platforms have it for as long as it goes with the service. Is InShot have a desktop version? That is a very good question. Let's see, hold on. Let's go InShot. That is a very good question. InShot app. InShot? Get InShot. Nope, it's only an app. <laughs> only an app, okay? Now, if we go back to it, so it has three things you can do, video, photo, and collages. So when we're talking about where CapCut is more just a video editing app, this kind of does everything. So if we talk about videos, let me use Jamal's, all right? When we talk about videos, they have way more different options for you than just the very basic, right? So you have Things, of course, you have your normal. And if you hear my dog in the background, I apologize. He is literally eating my hand. Everybody say hi, Don Cuddles. So you got your text. You have your effects, right? They have AI effects now um, that are interesting to use. They have a PIP, picture in picture, pre-cut, split, volume, speed, animations, wow. I wonder what AI cut is. Auto detect and remove pauses and filler words in your videos. So that's very useful. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll do that later. You can crop it, switch it. You could do uh, enhance, right? You can enhance the whole video. You could do cutout, masking. You can do voice effects, freeze. So for me, for me, I love InShot, right? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Hey, Don Cuddles. Come on. Let me stop my poll real quick, right? So from a very simple, straight to the point, but with some really good features, InShot is still really, really dope, okay? InShot is, is, is great. I do believe they have a paid feature. I don't know if I have it. Do I have it? I do. And so... Of course, you won't get the, the logo and you get all the AI features, auto adjust. It, memberships are really dope. Not going to lie. I always, when it comes to video editing apps, I always use the memberships because I don't want a logo. I do not want a watermark. I hate them. I hate them. Okay. Then you have... You know, your photo, same thing with the photos. You have different features for your photos, doodles, uh, retouch, masking, enhancing it, uh, text, filters, 
and then collages for those people and an AI blend stitch that whole night. That's that's in shot. Another good one. I will say, do I still have it? Let me see. Let me see. I'm having video leap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Provide us with consent for further retain and use your inputs to develop. I'm not even going to. I'm not touching it before I read it completely. These people are changing terms and service every day, all day. <coughs> Hear me? So I'll stick with this. I'll stick with this. For what I do and for what most people do, right? <sighs> My dog is going crazy. I'm going to say InShot and edits. For my other advanced stuff, I'm going to stick with Adobe Premiere Pro or for everything else, 